Okay. Well, day two is complete. That's awesome, right? Uh, I'll tell you, as far as like that hunger feeling goes, uh, tomorrow should be a little easier for most people. And because most of you who have followed me for the last month and came into this fast ready, prepared, uh, doing diet variation strategies, fat adapted, tomorrow is going to be a breeze. All right, tomorrow, let's talk about tomorrow. Because some of you, it's not going to be a breeze. Uh, look, let's face it, the autophagy is a great thing because it gets rid of bad cells. But when you get rid of bad cells, you release toxins. You can release pathogens in stuff that may not make you feel well. If you didn't see last night's video, I talked about how to use the bind, the um, fast tonic, and the cytodetox. We call that the fasting trio. Uh, the reason that we really fell into those after years of doing this is because toxins come out and they make you feel bad. So it's also why your numbers won't be right and you won't maybe hitting max autophagy. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna remind you on how to figure out max autophagy. So make sure you're on that video. But okay, what to expect tomorrow? Because some of you may still not feel great, uh, but most of you will start to feel better. Now, if you just jumped right into this fast, yeah, you're not gonna, you're not going to feel better no matter what. It's gonna take you at least till day four. Uh, but if you came in prepared, you're gonna feel great tomorrow and you won't have the hunger that you typically have around the time of eating. That will be gone. So no problem with that. But the benefits, what happens tomorrow? I can tell you this, I wanted to show you in my book because I outline every day, day two, day three, what to expect. And what I talk about is your ketones will continue to rise and your brain loves ketones. So for many of you, you will get the higher ketones. And for some of you, your actually brain turns on. But for some of you, even though you have high ketones, it takes another day because you're not keto adapted, meaning your brain's still not used to using the ketones. And again, most of you who've been following me here for the last month, that's not your case. Your brain is used to using ketones because we got you fat adapted. So most of you will, your brains will absolutely turn on tomorrow. So that's the good news. Now, here's the key though. I talk about glucose dropping and ketones rising as a, as a significant sign your body's doing the right thing. What if you, and I read some of your comments, some of you, your glucose isn't dropping. Tomorrow should be the day that most everybody sees really dropping glucose. We want that because then it's forcing your cells to use fat, your brain to use ketones. This is good. And by the way, we know this as well, that when glucose remains high, you actually don't get the benefits from the ketones. So that's not good. So it will in fact reflect how you feel. That was the question I wrote down in the title and it will reflect your results. So again, whose glucose stays up and doesn't drop? Well, toxic people for sure. What glucose do we wanna see? Most of you tomorrow should start seeing glucoses, uh, you know, no doubt I would say low 70s, even 60s. Some of you are gonna see them in the 50s, which is excellent. We want those low numbers. And by the way, by day four and day five, some of you will see glucoses easily in the 40s. So, and you know, if your ketones weren't up, because here's the, here's the, uh, the comments we get. Is that okay? Am I okay? My next comment is, how do you feel? I feel fine. That's because your ketones are up. But if you went to uh, the hospital and they saw your glucose in the 40s, yeah, they'd be pumping IVs in you, okay? Because they don't even look at your ketones. I've actually had that happen several times where for a reason, one of our fasters, you know, uh, goes to the hospital, one of my doctor's uh, uh, patients goes to the hospital and their glucose is in the 40s and they're like, that's wrong, you know, and they're texting uh, their other doctor saying they're, they're, they want to put me on a glucose IV because they think my glucose is too low. And then the doctor has to tell them, measure your ketones. But then they measure the ketones. You know what else they think's wrong? Now they think they're diabetic. So <laughs> it's not a good thing. You have to understand and be able to explain that glucose should be dropping and ketones should be rising. Uh, some of you are going to hit ketones in the eight or nines, which is absolutely normal. And we don't typically see go over 10, but I've seen that. But when you start getting 15, 20, that's a diabetic situation, completely uh, different than what we're dealing with here with uh, nutritional ketosis or fasting. So we wanna see the glucose dropping. So remember, stay tuned tomorrow 
uh, and we're going to talk about how to know when you're in max autophagy. I'll remind you of that. But let me answer a question that some people have. I'm cold. I'm cold all the time. See, this is why you should put your comments in how you're feeling because everyone benefits from that. And you know, I like to go in and answer those so everyone benefits. So talk about how you're feeling. And by the way, a lot of people get, are getting inspired by that because they're not feeling as good. So when they hear you saying, I'm feeling good, they think, okay, you know, there's hope here. It's not just me, you know, so, or the opposite. If someone says, you know, I'm not feeling good, you know, then they can relate to that as well. So it really does, it helps. And people come in and encourage as well. So put your comments, please, it helps the group. Um, but the bottom line is the cold thing is the body is going into a very intelligent phase. The innate intelligence knows what to do. It literally will start to lower uh, T3 slightly just to maintain muscle. Pretty intelligent, but it can also drop your body temperature. But here's the cool thing. Your receptors on the cell actually become more sensitive to the hormones. So even though you get some of these lower hormones, the cell uh, for fat burning actually works better. So pretty interesting how smart the body is. But it wants to reserve its uh, energy as well. We call that energy diversion. So it wants to take every bit of energy and drive it towards healing. Remember at this point, your body's not digesting all of these foods, so it has extra energy. And it's you know, basically taking extra energy, creating extra energy, and it's driving it towards healing. Tomorrow, many of you are going to feel, you may feel better, but you may say, I have this ache or pain that, uh, that's occurring. And that can be due to two things. Number one, it can be due to stem cells that are activated and going to that area, but it also, and most likely, is energy diversion. So the body's utilizing this extra energy and it's going back in healing things that it really wanted to heal for a long time. It's that smart, that it's always using its energy for surviving in digesting food. Now it has extra energy. It's even creating extra energy for the healing. So really cool. And that typically starts tomorrow. So pay attention for that and share if that's happening to you. If you have a knee pain that you hadn't had in 20 years or from an injury or back pain, neck, or whatever it is, just share because it's really cool to see those things. So that's why you're cold. That's why you might have pain tomorrow, but all of those things are happening. So I gave some little tips in the book. One was, okay, so if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling super, super tired, yeah, I would recommend starting the fasting trio tomorrow. Um, the other thing was sleep becomes really important. So some of you may say, okay, my sleep tomorrow could start to, tomorrow evening could get disrupted. Sleeping in pure darkness really makes a difference. So that will help you actually get a deeper sleep and you want deep sleep because typically during a fast, you definitely need to sleep less, but you want to make sure you're getting a deep sleep. I measured my deep sleep with this ring last night and I was an hour and 10 minutes of deep sleep. So that's pretty good, but we wanna at least stay around an hour or so. And then um, you want to turn off your Wi-Fi for sure, but you may wanna turn up your heat uh, or put an extra blanket on because yeah, tomorrow you probably will feel that cold thing, many of you. So crank up the heat, darken your room, turn off your Wi-Fi at night. All of those things will actually help you sleep. So. All right, and like I said, this is a, a transition day for your glucose and ketones. I really wanna see glucose dropping tomorrow and I really wanna see ketones rising. And again, I'll probably get the question, that's happening but I still don't feel well. Yeah, it may take you another day because your brain is not adapting yet to the ketones. But again, I, I think most of you will in fact uh, have that effect of like your brain just turns on because you're fat adapted. So, okay, Dylan, and remember to share the videos because we're pulling a lot of people into our group and that makes it a lot of fun. And so many of you are new and uh, this is the first time. So again, go back and watch the videos if you're new because we've been at this for uh, a little more than a month right now. So a lot of the things I'm talking about, you're like, what does he mean? Go back and watch the other videos. And by the way, still focus on those intentions that I told you to write down yesterday. Pray over them, meditate on those things because that is it, expect God to move. That's all I can tell you. My wife and I prayed for you all this morning and we prayed about our intentions this morning. And she made sure she wrote hers down and I wrote mine in my special little book. So, you know, I, I expect, I do, I expect God to answer these things. I'm actually asking for specific answers and signs, by the way. So, Jehoshaphat, look out. 
the three armies that are coming were coming against Israel, you know, they didn't have to raise even one thing. Matter of fact, I didn't finish the story. Do you realize that he actually put the musicians out front? Yep, the instrument players, not the soldiers, were actually put out front. That's how much faith they had. That's pretty amazing. They knew God was going to show up for them, and they didn't have to do anything. Those three armies ended up coming against themselves and wiping themselves out. That can happen in our life too, believe it or not. Whatever you're up against, bigger than us, yeah, you know, we, we put those intentions down, and I believe mir miracles happen during fasting. And I know we're gonna have many miracles uh, to report. So Dylan, are there any pressing questions we wanna ask? And write your questions in here. Um, I might be able to get to them now, but I'll try to get to them after as well. And by the way, uh, you can go to uh, Beyond Fasting, um, beyondfastingbook.com, right Dylan, to order, pre-order the yeah. book, which comes out at the end of this month. So beyondfastingbook.com. What is the ring you use to measure your sleep? Uh, the Aura. O-U-R-A, I'll have my team put the link. Yeah, I was just looking for it. So, yep, she's looking for the link. So we'll put the link. Yeah, this is a great ring. Um, listen, it, it's great because you, you might think you slept well, but the fact is, is what is your REM sleep? What is your deep sleep? You need REM sleep for your brain to recuperate. You know, I think when I fast, I do get a lot more REM sleep. So you know your brain is, is healing with that REM sleep and you need to deep sleep to just recover. You know, the, the cool thing about being able to measure something is you can change something, you know, meaning that if I know that if I eat, too, not that we're eating now, but typically if you eat too close to bed, that really affects my deep sleep. Uh, alcohol too close to bed really affects my, uh, my heart rate mostly, which then affects uh, other aspects of recovery. So in deep sleep, not as much as food before bed but definitely my heart rate. And by the way, it'll tell you your recovery index. So that means if you should work out hard the next day or not, or that day. So it'll tell you rest today, not a good day to work out hard. And it looks at your heart rate variability, it looks at your heart rate, deep sleep, it takes all of that into consideration, and then it tells you go hard today or not. So it's pretty, pretty accurate, I, I really do like the ring. And they have different colors too, so my wife has a different one. Another question. Uh, I don't have any. Okay, so write them in, but I'll get to them. And tomorrow night, remember, we're going to look at how to know max autophagy. Um, if you're in max autophagy, which should be happening for you tomorrow. That's why I want to do it tomorrow. But important to note is, okay, if it's not happening, then what can we do about it? And again, I, I do have, I'm going to re remind you on some of the tips um, that you probably forgot. Like, oh yeah, that's something that I, I need to do. So I'll talk more about that tomorrow. So again, share the videos. Let's get as many people uh, because, hey, we do this like four times a year, right? So, you know, this is how you de-age. This is how you take uh, these bad years, um, well, put good years back on your life, take bad years off. Uh, telomeres, maybe I'll talk about that. So. Do you want to answer one question? Yeah, I'll answer one more. Um, are the electrolyte needs the same as a regular ketogenic diet? Yeah, matter of fact, you lose a lot of glycogen the first uh, two days of a fast. So the sea salt, the electrolytes become really important the first two or three days. Uh, matter of fact, that'd be one of the tips I'd remind you of if your numbers aren't very good, to take in more, tea, you know, two teaspoons of sea salt is typically really good. If you're getting muscle cramps, um, add some magnesium, or maybe it's a, just get a really balanced electrolyte, and you, as long as it doesn't have sugar, read the ingredients, make sure it's just electrolytes. I sell one on my website called Elite, and that works uh, really well. It's really balanced, so there you go. Cool, all right, tomorrow night, same time. See you then.